here with two amazing chefs. This is Graham Marceau, this is Travis McCord. They are the Modern Chef Catering. And they have been absolutely out of their minds crazy busy this last year. People have found them, they can't, they don't have a day off. You guys are like nuts busy. They're super busy. They do political <laughs> galas, they do wedding receptions, cooking classes, private parties, I mean, Independent movies. You yeah. just did one recently. We're right? actually still working on one right now. Every day this month. We base a lot of the stuff that we do off of like classic, you know, old school French mm -hmm. method, and uh, and so it's kind of ironic that what we're doing is considered, you know, what we're trying to do is, is new modern food with old school world classic. And the dish we're doing for you today is very classic. Yeah. Old school food. Okay, so what are we making today? Uh, we're making a, a pasta carbonara. Okay. Uh, we made a, uh, a fresh tagliatelle, mm -hmm. and uh, Travis is going to start the sauce. Uh, we're starting with some some cured bacon. Okay. And uh, the classic uh, misconception about carbonara is that it actually you use a cream to thicken it. Oh. But a classic carbonara is actually thickened with egg. And so uh, we're keeping this very natural. Uh, only a few ingredients. We have some really nice smoked streaky bacon. Uh, some onion and does some that, sorry to interrupt. Does that make a difference on the type of bacon you use when you're making this? Because oh, yeah. that's something I think that a lot of people don't know when they're making a pasta. They just think, oh, go get bacon. Yeah. If you buy regular store bacon that's like sliced, super thin, you yeah. put it in your pan and everything is going to disappear out of it because so much fat. Okay, so you recommend buying a thicker cut bacon from a butcher? I recommend going to a butcher. And okay. Your oh, that's good. That's good to know. Bacon. Okay. The classic carbonara, they use, uh, they use pancetta, which is Italian bacon, but it's not smoked at all. Mm -hmm. And we kind of find that the actual smokiness of the bacon, because we're not only using a couple of ingredients, we find that it works a lot better wow. using the actual smoked bacon. It's a homemade pasta dough that uh, we're rolling out to make some fresh tagliatelle that we'll be making a carbonara pasta with. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever do whole wheat pasta? Uh, sometimes it's harder to regulate the dough when it's uh, whole wheat. Uh, the flour isn't as refined, it's not ground as fine. So it's hard to do sort of more like pastry style kind of like finesse work. The idea is when you change the settings on it, mm -hmm. it makes it slightly thinner and thinner and thinner oh. every time. Uh, if you try to force the pasta through the dye and it's too thick, it'll cause the pasta to crack and you want to help sort of like compress it so it all keeps nice and tight and you want to help develop the gluten and work the protein in the egg so it holds up. Listen to you. Yeah. Brunoise onions. What kind of onions? Brunoise. So just the cut, nice and small dice. Oh. And that makes a difference with this dish? You just don't want too much onion. Okay. And it's very small. Okay. You say you good fellas. Use too many onions. Don't, don't put too many onions in the sauce. I used three small onions. <laughs> <laughs> I thought okay. you used too many onions, but it was still a very good sauce. <laughs> okay, so, and what's this right here? This is a, we made a stock out of smoked ham hock. So it would be a very bacony taste. What you would do is you take mirepoix, which is onions, carrots, and celery, and then boil it up with the smoked ham hock. Mm -hmm. Let it reduce, get it nice and flavorful for a couple hours. Mm. The actual dough probably takes a total, I would say, of about 20 minutes to put together. And I've seen Graham do it in 10. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then it, you're looking at uh, at least two hours rest time in the fridge before you want to work with the mm -hmm. dough. You want to have the dough, uh, have a little bit of time in the fridge to set up and get it nice and cold. Yeah. It's easier to work with and it'll help set all of the, the gluten and the, and the protein in the eggs. Now, can you make it gluten free? Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that can't have gluten, right? We've tried a couple of times to make an actual pasta dough that's gluten free. Yeah. You have to use something like uh, rice flour or tapioca flour. Right. Um, there's not any gluten in that at all, right. obviously because it's gluten free. The gluten is what holds the actual pasta together. So it's a lot harder making it that way. Yes. Do you cook with wine? We do. We cook with a lot of wine. Yes. Hopefully BC wine. I'm an Ontario guy, but... Oh. Uh, we got some free Argentinian wines. <laughs> We're gonna use it tonight. Are you gonna use it in the venue? Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Where's my glass? <laughs> yeah. No, you can have one. Some of this go. one. Perfect. Cheers. <laughs> you want it pretty much nice and crispy. You want all the fat to run out of it, and then I'm gonna add my onions in. Okay. And then once once it's come to that point, we'll throw our fresh pasta noodles in, and then I'm gonna deglaze the pan with some white wine. Has a nice flame. Deglaze. What is that? How did, what is the, how did that term come out? When, when the bacon and everything starts coming on the pan, you can start to see these brown things. Yeah. Which, you know, that, that tool Emerald likes to call yum yums. <laughs> we, uh, as soon as you put the, the, the wine in the pan, all that flavor is going to get sucked right off the pan and into your food. Oh, yep. I want to see the egg go in here. The egg will go in right at the end. Whoa, so we can whoa. roll the noodles into that 
Have you ever caught anything on fire? Oh yeah. No. I oh yeah. No. <laughs> so who's telling the truth here? I'm gonna put my stock in. In there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right off the, you take it off yeah. the meat so the egg yolk doesn't cook and turn into scrambled eggs. We're <laughs> <laughs> We do. We're a two-man catering company, you know? Uh, two-man catering. And didn't you start out in your kitchen? We you? did, absolutely. That's a pretty cool story. That's a Sunday night movie right in the Started out there. working for friends and we're like, why don't we do this for money? We're spending a lot of money. Well, you've both been in the, in the food industry for a long time, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you can see it looks like there's cream in there, but there's none. Yeah, that's amazing. We're going to finish it with another egg yolk on top. Oh, so two egg yolks in a single serving. Yep. Here we go. Bon appetit. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Good? I heard talk. It's good? Excellent. Mmm. Outstanding. Cool. Classic. Well, thank so, you so much for coming, Sue. Oh, we really <laughs> now I get out of our kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. This is a modern chef. Oh, look, he's eating it. He's not letting me have any more. It was fantastic. Thank you so much for letting me into your kitchen. You guys are amazing. 